Here is another example. Uh, he gave us the Z parameter. So the question he's asking what find I1 and I2. Okay, so here he's asking about finding I1 and I2. So here Z12 and Z21, they are not uh, equal. So it's not a reciprocal network. So it's not a reciprocal network. So you cannot uh, draw the equivalent T model. Okay. So as I mentioned, without equivalent T model, we can we can find I1 and I2 anyway. Remember one important thing is the given source voltage is not V1. V1 is right here. So V1 equal to source voltage minus some voltage drop here. Whatever that uh, voltage drop there, I'm going to take that as V10 in this case. But v2 is same v2 as voltage drop across the impedance gl so the first two equations we know v1 equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 and v2 equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 now i have four unknowns which are I don't know what is V1, I don't know V2, um, I don't know I1, so I don't know what is V2, I don't know what is I1, and I don't know what is I2. So I need to have four equations. So if you look at loop one, apply KVL, so that's my loop one, apply KVL, so it's going to be uh, v1 equal to 50 at an angle of 0 minus 10 i1 and v2 so that's first equation second third now my v2 equal to v2 equal to remember current is entering here leaving there so this one supposed to be positive this one supposed to be negative but i took the v2 as a opposite um, signs so it must be minus 5 plus j4 times i2 this is my fourth equation now what I'm going to do I'm going to equate um, here is v2 and here is v2 so these two are v2 I'm going to equate um, equation 4 and equation 2 equation 4 and equation 2 or equal those two equations are equal so I'll end up with the minus 5 plus j4 i2 equal to 80 i1 plus 100 i2 so I'll end up with the 80 i1 plus 105 plus j4 i2 equal to 0 this is my fifth equation I'm going to do the similar thing with equation 3 and uh, equation 1 so equation 3 and equation 1 are equal so I will end up with uh, 50 at an angle of 0 minus 10 I1 equal to 40 I1 plus 60 I2 so I'll end up with uh, 50 I1 plus 60 I2 equal to 50 at an angle of 0 that's my sixth equation now I'm going to solve solve equation 5 uh, and equation 6 so equation 5 is 80 I1 plus 105 plus j4 i2 equal to 0 and 50 i1 plus 60 i2 equal to 50 at an angle of 0 so these are the two equations um, to eliminate one of these two I'm going to multiply this with uh, 5 I'm going to multiply this with 8 so this is going to be 400 i1 plus 425 
sorry, 525. 525 plus J20 I2 equal to 0. So this is 400 I1 plus 480 I2 equal to 400 at an angle of 0. Now I'm going to subtract this. If I subtract, it's going to be 525 minus I480, which is 45 plus J20 I2 equal to minus 400 at an angle of 0. So my I2 equal to minus 400 divided by 45 plus J20. So to find I2 here, I'm going to convert this 45 plus J20 into polar format. After transferring that 45 plus J20 into polar format, it's going to be 49.24 at an angle of 23.96. So 400 divided by 49.24 is 8.123. 400 divided by 49.24 is 8.123. And when we take this, uh, at an angle of 23 points so I can represent this as angle 0 so 0 minus 23.96 so it's going to be minus 23.96 that's our I2 now we need to find I1 also to find I1 um, you can use any one of those two formulas here so to find I1 I'm going to use 50 I1 plus 60 I2 equal to 50 at an angle of 0. Okay, so I'm going to replace I2 with this number. So it's going to be 60 times minus 8.123 at an angle of minus 23.96 equal to 50 at an angle of 0. Okay, that's 50 I1. So 60 times uh, 8.123 is minus 487.40 at an angle of minus 23.96 equal to 50 at an angle of 0. Now when I take it to the other side I need to convert that into rectangle format this is 50 plus j0 this is plus 487.4 at an angle of minus 23.96 so that value is going to be 487.4 cos negative 23.47 plus j 487.4 so i'm just converting rectangular to polar my apology polar to rectangular this is polar format i'm converting that into rectangular format so after converting this polar format into rectangular format i end up with 445.4 minus j 197.96 so when i add them together it's going to be 495.4 minus j 197.96 that's 50 i1 um, so my i1 equal to 495.4 divided by 50 minus j 197.96 divided by 50 so i'll end up with the rectangular format here so after solving this, I have I1 equal to 9.908 minus J 3.958 and I2 equal to minus 8.123 at an angle of minus 23.96. Okay, now I'm representing I2 in polar format, I1 in rectangular format. It's a good idea to convert both of them in the same format. So convert I1 into, I1 into a polar format. So my I1 in polar format is 10.66 at an angle of minus 21.77. Thank you. So that's what I think he's asking for in this example, I1 and I2. So he gave us the Z parameters. Uh, he gave us the Z parameters and there are other elements connected outside of that block box. So he's asking about find the I1 and I2. We found I1 and I2. Thank you.